אז אנחנו בעת השם, ברכות, פייג' 10b, י' עמוד ב', Yesterday we saw the story of חזקיה המלך and ישעיהו. חזקיה and ישעיהו, they were, they were fighting. What were they fighting? חזקיהו המלך invited ישעיהו to come to his palace. ישעיהו told him, no, אתה צריך אותי, you need me, אתה תבוא אליי. אתה מבין? You are of respect. חזקיהו המלך told him, no, but I'm the king. You're a prophet, but I'm the king of Israel. You have to come to see me. Each one of them brought a pasuk. One brought a pasuk that Eliyahu went to see Ahav, the other one brought a pasuk that Yoram, Ben Ahav, went to see Eliyahu. Bekitzor lo istadru, they didn't get managed. What did Hashem do? Pesher. Hashem asa pshara. Ma pshara? Chizkiyahu became chole. Yishayahu, Hashem told him, Lech tere otoh shav. Go see him, because you have to do birkur chole. Ma, he doesn't have to do it otoh shav. Okay? Zai ya pshara. Now, he told them, Hashem told Chizkiyahu, Prepare with the prophecy to Yishayahu, prepare yourself, tomorrow you die. Why? Because he never got married. So tell me, what do you mean? I saw that the kids are not going to be good. Kids are not going to be good. It's not your business. You have to have kids. But Torah Katuf, Pru Urvu. It doesn't say Pru Urvu Tzadikim. It says Pru Urvu. Have kids. Try to give them the best education. Try to send them to the best schools. Try to dress them. Give them to eat. What she eats from them is already for them. תמיד צריך להתפלל על הילדים, always you have to pray. אתה יודע עוד מעט ראש חודש סיוון, סיגולה של השלה הקדוש, ערב ראש חודש, that you have to pray for your kids, שיהיו צדיקים, שימצאו שידוכים, שיהיו עשירים, שיהיו בריאים, כל ב... כן. בקיצור, now what's happening now? חזקיהו תוך ישעיהו, you tell me that that's the last day, get out of here, I don't want to see you. Right? Why? Because חזקיהו proposed to ישעיהו that he's married his daughter, Right? And then maybe with Zchut Yechizkiyahu it's Tzadik and the daughter of Shai Tzadikah, it's a Tzadikim. He didn't want to because he says, no, but anyways, he's going to die tomorrow. He says, what? You're going to continue to say, it's off me. Say it, say it, say it, but I don't want to see you. I don't want to see you. Get out of here. Right? Now we, can, we, start, we start the Gemara. Says the Gemara, Ma Oseh Chizkiyahu? What does Chizkiyahu do when Yeshayahu leaves? Vayasov Chizkiyahu pana velakir vayitpalel Adonai. He turns to the wall. And he starts to pray Hashem. What is it? Ma, machar met. Eh, for why? Why should I should die tomorrow? I want, I want to live. He starts to pray. He says to the Gemara, why did he turn to the wall? My kir. What is a kir? Kir is a wall. What is a wall? Ken? Amar Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish, kir is a kirot libo. No, from this bottom of his heart. In Hebrew, when you say bottom of the heart, in Hebrew it's kirot libo. In English, it's not translated the same thing. In he, in, exactly. In English, you say, bottom of the heart. In Hebrew, you say, kirot, from the, from the walls of the heart. He started to pray to Hashem. Okay, ma'amakel libo. Amar, aso libo shenemar, me'ai, me'ai ochila kirot libi. Rabbi Levi, Rabbi Levi Amar, Rabbi Levi said, no, to them was a kir? Lo kirot libo, doesn't mean that. Iske a kir, on the kir, on the wall. Which wall? So he says like this, Amar, Lefanav, Ribbono Shorlam. He started to pray. You have to understand something. When you pray to Hashem and you want your prayer to be successful, you have to be evoking Leorer as a mashu. You have to bring a schut. You have to make like a merit that you have. With this merit, Hashem answers your prayer. Because if you pray, if you're tzaddik, you're going to be answered. If you're not tzaddik, it's going to take a little bit longer. But if you bring up a merit, if you bring one Mother merit, merit is good. Okay, I'll give, you, I'll give you an example. The Gemara says in Gitin, the Gemara says, Akosh Bohu is sitting with all the tzaddikim in Gan Eden, and this, there's a rabbi on earth, he meets Eliyahu Navi. He told him, oh, Eliyahu Navi, you always there, up there. What is Akosh Bohu doing there? Akosh Bohu right now is studying with the tzaddikim. Oh, great. What does he say? He says, this tzaddik says so. This tzaddik says that. This tzaddik says that. But I tell you something. When it comes to Rabbi Mir Balanes, he says, ah, the other one says, he doesn't want to say Rabbi Mir. He doesn't want to say his name. Why? Rabbi Mir Balanes, tzaddik, why doesn't? He says, no, because Rabbi Mir Balanes, he studied by Elisha ben Avuya, Rabbi Shah ben Avuya. Elisha, Rabbi Shah ben Avuya became renegade, a hair. He didn't, he didn't keep Shabbat at the end, he didn't keep kosher, he didn't keep Yom Kippur, כלום. ואתה רבי מאיר בעל הנס, אתה הולך ללמוד אצלו, you're going to study by him Torah? אז השם אומר, you're a tzaddik, but I'm not going to mention your name. 
So Rabbi Shila is telling Eliyahu Navi, Lama? Why? אני יש לי זכות ללמד על אליהו, על, 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 I have a זכות, I have a merit, point of merit to study on רבי מאיר בנס. למה? רבי מאיר בנס is like somebody walk on the street, פתאום מוצא רימון על הרצפה, he finds a, a pomegranate on the floor. מה עושה רבי מאיר בנס? תוכו אכל, he eats the inside, and he throws away the peel that was on the floor. רבי מאיר בנס took the good part of רלישה בן אבויה, which was a big, big scholar, וכל הדברים הרעים הוא לא לקח ממנו. He stayed tzaddik, he keeps Shabbat, he's kosher, he did. That, the Gemara says, that second, when he said the right thing about Rabbi Mir Baranes, in that time, Eliyahu Hanavi says, oh, I hear the Lord, he says, Rabbi Mir, says, Rabbi Mir says that. You understand, when you evoke a right on something, on someone, on, on yourself even, right away, the prayer is heard. You can find the right thing. Look, so you see what the right thing is here. Chizkiyahu is praying for himself, he's praying for himself because he knows the next day he's going to die. Hashem said, decree, tomorrow you die. Vaitpalel mikirot libo. He prays from the walls of his heart. First explanation, walls of his heart, and from the bottom of his heart. Second explanation, al iske kir. What is iske kir? Amar lefanav, ribono shel olam. He says to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, ribono shel olam. Uma shunamit, shelo asta ila kir achat, ktana, echeta et bena, אבי אבא שחיפה את ההיכל כולו בכסף וזהב על אחת וכמה וכמה. איזה זכות. He tells them, ריבונו של עולם, there was a lady called שונמית. אליהו הנביא comes to her city, כן? שונם, he comes to שונם, and the lady says, וואו, 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 this rabbi looks me the big tzaddik. She tells her husband, listen, we're going to split our house. She lives in a small studio, a very small studio. She makes her husband build right away a wall and divide the house into two. They take half a house, the other half they give to Elisha Anavi. And she tells her husband, Ish Kadoshu, this man, I, I, Kadosh, who is going to give half of his house <laughs> when mm. you have a studio? You give half of his house. What happened? She didn't have children. Elisha Anavi asked, What does this lady need? So his Shamash told her, Ella Eladim. For many years she didn't have kids. Ah, Ella Eladim. He gave her a bracha, the next year she had a boy. Happens to be seven years later, the boy dies. So what does she tell her husband? I have to go to the Navi. I want to talk to him. She comes to the Navi, Elisha, and says, what, are you making fun of me? I gave you half of my house. I gave you everything. You tell me a bracha, you give me a boy? For seven years? Elisha, Navi, what does he do? He goes, he revives. The kid, he remarked, he came out, 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 what did she give to the Navi? Aliyat Kir, not now Kir, one wall. To tell me, he's the Saba Shili. Saba Shili is Shlomo Amelech. This is the grandson of Shlomo Amelech, he's the grandson of Shlomo Amelech. My grandfather built the whole Bet Mikdash. Not only, not only one wall, okay? באמת, אומר הרב בן ישחי, מה זה, מה ה-comparison? מה אתה משווה, מה אתה משווה עכשיו זה עם זה? יש comparison אדיר. בנביא, in the prophet he says, she put in, what did she put in the other room? By the Navi, what she put in him? מיטה, כן? שולחן, she put a bed, a table, כיסא, כן? Put a chair, כן? ומנורה. אומר הרב בן ישחי, look at the acronym, תסתכל. מיטה זה מם, מתחיל במם. שולחן זה שין. בוא נרשום את זה. בוא נרשום את זה ככה. לא משיח. She built. She puts. She puts. מיטה. 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 שולחן. כן? כיסא. כיסא. כיסא ומנורה. מנורה זה נר. מה זה נותן? משכן. 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 היא לא בנתה קיר, היא בנתה משכן. למה היא שמה את הכלים האלה? By thinking, by doing the room for the Navi Elisha, I want to build a משכן. My house is a משכן. היא ידעה שהוא הנביא? אה? לא, אחר כך היא גילתה. אבל היא רצתה שזה יהיה, היא ראתה איש קדוש. She saw a holy man, she says I'm going to build a משכן for him. Oh, how did she build a משכן? One wall, נכון? One wall. אומר, 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 says חזקיה, she built one wall, she built משכן. You know what my grandfather built? The whole בית המקדש. 
That's the comparison. למה הוא צריך להגיד את זה? אבל הקדוש ברוך הוא, הקדוש ברוך הוא לא יודע... לעורר זכויות בשמיים. הקדוש ברוך הוא לא יודע את זה, לא זוכר את זה. לא, תשמע, תשמע. When you pray, you have to be evoking, מעורר. You have to wake up the זכויות. The זכויות is there, sleeping. It's dormant. It's dormant. When you speak about it, boom. אתה מעורר את זכות אבות. מה, הקדוש ברוך הוא לא יודע שיש אברהם, יצחק ויעקב? כן, every time when you evoke a merit, you are evoking זכויות בשמיים. זה מעורר בך משהו מבפנים. כשאתה נזכר בדברים כאלה, זה מעורר לך בפנים, זה גורם לך להתפלל מבפנים באמת. זה לא יותר, זה יותר בשבילנו מאשר הקדוש ברוך הוא. ברור. אבל אתה בשמיים, מה קורה? בשמיים, in heavens, there is angels. And they want to stop the abundance to come to earth. Matai shatam me'orer, when you evoke zchuyot, atam poteh kasharim, you open the gates. And they can say nothing. So Chizkiyahu says now, my grandfather built the whole Bet HaMikdash. My grandfather, it's not kir, it's not a wall. It's the whole walls covered with gold, covered with silver. As lo magiyeh li lichyot. I don't deserve to live. Okay? When he said that, okay, when he said that, okay, זכור נא, הוא נתן לו את האפשרות להתפצל. לא, כן, הוא לא יודע מה, אחר כך. זכור נא, אחר כך. זכור נא את אשר התהלכתי לפניך באמת ובלב שלם. ראי, השם, רמבר, אני אונסט, אני תמים, אני גוי איתי בלב שלם, והטוב בעיניך עשיתי, אני לא ניגוד. מהי והטוב בעיניך עשיתי? מהי טוב? מה זה טוב בעיניך עשיתי? מה זה טוב? אמר רבי יהודה אמר רבי רב ששמח גאולה לתפילה. He was very careful in the morning when he said ברוך אתה השם גאל ישראל right away אדוני שפתי תפתח ופי אגיד תלתיך. Without stop interruption at night when you say when you say אשכבי השם קדיש השם שפתי תפתח ופי אגיד right away right? ששמח גאולה לתפילה Because the Gemara said previously, two pages before, that was a big inyan, there was a big schut to say, Gaal Yisrael, Hashem Sfatai Tiftach, without interruption. What is interruption? Not even back, walking backwards. Sometimes people do, Baruch Atah Hashem, Gaal Yisrael, and then he steps three bad steps back, and then he comes back. Zev Seik. You have to step back before saying Gaal Yisrael. So when you say, Baruch Atah Hashem, Gaal Yisrael, Atah Kvar Bamakom, you're in the place, Hashem Sfatai Tiftach, Afri Gidatecha, Bli Yav Seik. So you have to... בין העולם הבא. בין העולם הבא. מה? כן, אם אתה מתחיל ישר. אז אל תיקח את ה-three steps. Don't take the three steps after. Take the three steps before. כן? נורא תהילות אוסף אל שירה חדשה, שיבחו גאולים, שמחה, גאול שפת הים. Go back. And then, just before גאל ישראל, come back. When you say גאל ישראל, you are in place. ברוך אתה השם, גאל ישראל, אדוני סיפה דלת תפתח. בכל התפילה. יש רק בבוקר ובערב גאל ישראל. במלחה אין גאל ישראל. מה הסיבה? מה הסיבה שעושים? סומך? לא, לא, מה הסיבה שעושים שלוש סעדים אחורה? למה עושים? Why do we take three steps? So there's two reasons. אבל הרב עובדיה אומר לא לעשות את זה. מה לא לעשות את זה? הרב עובדיה אומר, אתה מתפעל בבית כנסת, אתה לא צריך לעשות את זה. רק אם אתה מתפעל בבית. אבל בטח לא צריך לעשות את זה, זה השלוש צעדים האלה. למה? איפה אתה רואה את זה? תראה לי, תראה לי. You have to take, you know what it takes three steps? There's a few reasons. First reason, first reason, given, Rabbi Yishchad brings two reasons. First reason is, when Am Yisrael was in front of Sinai, of the Ar Sinai, Hashem ocii thunders, and the ra'amim, the kolot, and shofar, the shofar was so strong, right? The shofar was so strong, שמה שקרה, they backed, they backed up three miles, three kilometers. וואו. עם ישראל went back from the mountain three kilometers. They were scared. They didn't want to receive the Torah. came the angels, מלכי צבאות, עידודון עידודון. They started pushing them. אז מה אנחנו עושים? We go back three steps to remember those three kilometers. And then we come back, like the angels pushed us back. זה אחד, לזכור את מעמד הר סיני. דבר שני, דבר שני, עוד דבר, כן? הוא אומר, כתוב בגמרא שנבוכד נצח היה, he was a scribe, and he's, uh, the king, מרודח, בלדן, בלדן, בן, בן בלדן, 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 the king of Persia, he sent a letter to חזקיה המלך, כן? <coughs> When he sent them a letter, מתי שלח לו מכתב, he wrote, uh, regards to the king, regards to Jerusalem, regards to God. נבוכדנצר, נבוכדנצר, תורדם, תורדם, הלו, 
if you respect God, why you write God at the end? You have to put God's name in the beginning. So he changed it. So he said, but yeah, but I sent the letter already. What did he do? He started running. Nebuchadnezzar started running to stop the shaliach, the messenger. He made three steps and he told him, hey, stop. He stopped <coughs> because he made three steps ahead, right? Hashem told him, from a scribe, you're going to become the king. And you're going to destroy the house of Hashem. And he's the first, he's the first destruction of the first temple, Nebuchadnezzar. Says the Rabbi Nishchai, to take away the schut of Nebuchadnezzar, Sheras Kadima, Shalosh Tzadim, and became king and destroyed the Beit HaMikdash, we go backwards to take away his, his, uh, his, his schuyot. Okay? Now, in the Amidah, what do we do at the end of the Amidah? What do we say? What do we say at the end? No. Okay. What do we say at the end? No. Because he took three steps ahead and destroyed the Bet Hamikdash, we take three steps back and we say, "Ratzo shetivnet Bet Hamikdash." Lo rit lo tashut to take away the shut of Nebuchadnezzar that did three steps ahead. We take three steps back and we demand of Hashem, please construct, rebuild the Beit HaMikdash. זה יאללה, אמר רבי לוי אמר, מה הזכות של חזקיה שהוריד לו את הגזירה, they took off the decree, what's one of the merits, שגנז ספר רפואות, או, he had in possession the book, the book of שלמה המלך. אה, זה לא שלמה המלך wrote the book. any possible sickness in the world, you have the answer in the book. any possible sickness, any מחלה that can be in the world, In the book, you have the medicine for it. Masa Chizkiyahu, Alach kavar ta sefer. He went and he buried it. Lama? Hu amar, people don't have faith in God anymore. Why? People become sick instead of praying, Rafae ni Hashem vene Rafae. They say, I go to the book. I go to the book. What do you say? Oh, you take na'ana and za'atar and you take this and you make a vetek. As I don't need to speak to Hashem anymore. המלך <laughs> שישה דברים עשה חזקיהו המלך, he did six things, על שלושה הודו לו, three things, they thanked him, חכמים עושה חזק וברוך, ועל שלושה לא הודו לו, and three things says, אה, למה עשית את זה, why'd you do that? מה זה השלושה? על שלושה הודו לו, the three things that he got married for, and חכמים thank him for, first of all, גנה ספר רפואות, he buried the ספר רפואות של שלמה המלך, second of all, קטט, נחש הנחושת, וואי, אבל היה עוד דבר. Moshe Rabbeinu in the desert did a snake made out of copper. Yeah. And this snake, when you look at it, you cure. If a snake bites you, if a, spy, if a, if a, a scorpion stings you, can? What's the emblem of the medicine today? Of, of medical thing? Nachash. Kadusi. זה מקל, אסתיק. כן, עם נחש הזה. Right? מאיפה זה בא? ממשה רבנו. 
קח לך אה, נחש ושים אותו על נס, שים אותו על מקל. So they copied it. They had the snake from Moshe Rabbeinu. Imagine, they had a thousand years till Moshe's Chizkiah HaMelech, a thousand years, and they still have it, right? מה עשה חזקיה המלך? אמר לא. So people don't have faith in Hashem. They believe in the snake. Okay? And they started, they started to bow down to the snake. משתחווים כבר לנחש, חושבים שזה אלוהים. כמו בטרלנד עכשיו. מה עשה? He went, כן? קטט. He burnt it down. He melted. זה היה copper, he melted it. שלא יאמינו בזה יותר. שיאמינו רק בשם. כן? אחר כך מה הוא עשה עוד דבר? גירר עצמות אביו על מיתת חבלים. אבא שלו, כן, היה עובד עבודה זרה. His father was an idolater. מה עשה? When his father passed away, instead of making a royal... Did you see the queen that passed away a few months ago? Uh-huh. You saw the, the few yeah, days, few yeah. days. They go with her in the streets, like they have soldiers, they have... Uh, 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 I don't know, all kinds of uh, choirs, all kinds of... Uh, uh, מה עשה? במקום לעשות לו כבוד? He took his, his coffin and he took ropes, he put the coffin on the ropes and he, they, pulled, they pulled the coffin on the floor. ביזיון. He disgraced him. למה? שיהיה לו כפרה, בגלל שהוא עשה עבודה זרה. כן? כן? היה רב אחד, I, I don't remember which rab, it was a big מקובל, in Yerushalayim. Who ביקש, he, he asked his kever, I don't know if it's רב שרה, I don't remember which, זה היה מקובל גדול. He asked that his kever was in Harazetim. You know the Mount of Olives in Israel? Okay. His kever was down in the mountain. Who became, when they come up the mountain, they should take his body, his coffin, and they should roll it down, to, and it should fall into the grave. Wow, 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 he's honest. You know what it means, they roll down the body? Umet, aval kaman. This is bizayon. Amru, ma pitom, never we're going to do that. Never. They made the, a lot of rabbis came, a lot of, a lot of Tamid Echachamim came, and they were in the middle of doing the Levaya, accompanying him, accompanying the, the, the coffin. In the middle, Arabs came, you know, Mount, the Mount of Olives is a dangerous because the Arabs, they get sometimes, they, they lose it, okay. but they come and they, the Arabs came out, everybody got scared. What did they do? They dropped the coffin and they started running away. <laughs> The coffin rolled and rolled, they'll roll down the mountain, נכנס ישר בתוך החוב. בדרך נס. בסוף קיימו את הצוואה שלו. זה מה שהוא רצה. למה? מה? הוא אמר כפרה. שהוא בי כפרה. You know when dead people die, old people, 90 years old and more, they do to them what's called ארבע מיטות בית דין. מה זה ארבע מיטות בית דין? When they wash them, when they wash חברה קדישה, they מתארים אותם, they purify them, they wash them, כן? They do. סקילה, שרפה, הרג וחנק. מה זה סקילה? סטורם, נכון? הם לוקחים אבן קטנה, they take a small rock, הם זורקים על המת. סקילה. סקלנו אותו. Then שרפה, right? They take a little bit of fire, the candle, take a candle, and they burn a little bit the finger. A little bit, no, not the burn the finger. They touch it with the finger like this, שרפה. כן? הרג, מה זה? גיליוטין, זה... כן? They take, uh, they take a needle, and they prick the, the thing, the herek, okay? Ve'az, chenek, they're like, as if they strangle him, ve'mekabel kapara, he's getting kapara in this world, arba mitot betin, okay? Lo osim ezeh lekol echad. This is something they do only to people 90 years old and up, and they were tzadikim. Lo osim ezeh lekol echad, okay? Yesh kaila tzadikim, they do akafot, sheva akafot. They take, before putting down the kever, And all, and all the assistants, they go seven times around the kever. They say when you go seven times, you build like rings of, 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 of light, and the mazikim, the bad spirits, cannot approach this, <laughs> this body. Why are they not in the 90s? Why are they not in the 90s? Listen, if they give us 70 years, and if they give us 90 years, wow, wow, wow. You got it. You got it. Not everyone. You need to be a good one. He has to be a man of tzaddik. Maybe he's 80, they're going to also do it, but he has to be a big tzaddik. Means somebody in his life, who has a lot of tzaddik. In fact, three things he did and didn't do it. What did he do? He did not do it. 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 In Jerusalem, there is a river, there is, a, there is like a river, she comes out from heaven. It comes out from a rock. It's called the water of Gichon. He was scared if the enemies are going to come to Jerusalem, they're going to take possession of this water. Masa, he went and he blocked it. 
כן? He went and he blocked it. בגלל שהוא עשה את זה, לא, לא הודו לו חכמים. He says no. מה הבעיה לפתוח את זה? וואי, למה? כתוב שהמשיח יבוא דרך שם. <coughs> המשיח צריך לבוא דרך האבן הזאת. Through this... Oh. והוא לא ידע? אה? והוא לא, לא, לא אז הוא עשה את זה והוא לא ידע, ולא הודו לו. חכמים אומרים לא, why did you do that? Why did you do that? You should not have done that. Second thing he did, second thing he did, כן? קיצץ דלתות ההיכל ושגרם למלך אשור ולא הודו לו. There was a king of Ashur, right? Next to Egypt over there, there's a, a country called Ashur. He, he, he like, he, איך קוראים לזה? הוא איים עליו, הוא איים על חזקיהו. He like uh, threatened him. So חזקיהו didn't want war because חזקיהו wanted peace, he didn't want war. So he said, listen, I'll send you a present. What did he do? The echal, the echal, in the Middash, the echal, the doors were out of metal, right? And they were covered with gold. He went, he scraped off the gold, and he sent them to him a present. How can you take the gold from the Middash? Yeah, but I want to save Jerusalem. I want to save Jerusalem. You should have more emuna. You shouldn't have done that. This is, belongs to Hashem. This is a door that belongs to the Middash, the house of Hashem. Chachamim says, we don't accept that. It's not something we accept. Look, he blew it there. כן? Okay. And the third thing שהוא עשה, איבר ניסן בניסן ולא הודו לו. You know, every three years, every three years, we do שנה מעוברת. Means uh, leap year. Why? Because we explained already once. We count, we count, our system is, is, is based on the uh, lunar system. Mm-hmm. The moon turns around its safe 355 days. The Goim count solar system. So the moon, the sun, turn around itself 365. Comes out 365, 355. The difference is what? 10 days. Every three years, we lose in the Jewish calendar 10 days. After three years, we lost a month. So in the third year, we do what's called leap year. Shana me'uberet. To catch up the 30 days. So ask a question, what do you mean? So why are you counting, so what, what for? Just count the solar system, it's much easier, right? Much easier, no. Because it says, Shamor et Chodesh Aviv. Make sure Pesach is always in springtime. Other goyim, there's other, other religions, they also count the lunar, but their holidays fall sometimes in the winter, sometimes in the summer, sometimes in the, in the spring, right? We have to make sure that Pesach is always in springtime. Shamor et Chodesh Aviv. So therefore, we have to catch up. We must count on the, on the lunar system on which to catch up. Achshav, there is rules how to do that. You cannot do it when you want. And there is a certain cutoff date that you're allowed to do it up to this date. Right? What happened? On the third year, it was already Rosh Chodesh Nisan, and the last minute, Yechizkiah Menech said, No, we do a leap year. No. The, the deadline was yesterday. If you wanted to make a leap year, it was yesterday. Now we're already in Nisan. We're already in the Mount of Nisan. What did he do? He did a leap year in Nisan. He bear Nisan, be Nisan. He should have done it on the 29th of Adar. You cannot go into Nisan and do Ibur. Vua Saize, he did it. Okay, or Melech, he's the king. We're not okay with that. You should not have done that. There's rules. You respect, you, you respect the rules, you know, it's count. It's like, it's, you have to count certain numbers, you know, because our calendar is more or less precise. <coughs> As lo duro. So basically, <coughs> can. Can, can, can. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Mashiach is a righteous man, a pious man, can. There was a midot, all the midot to be Mashiach. Why at the end he was Mashiach? מה, מה, למה, למה הוא לא... הידע שלו לא היה טוב? הידע שלו גם היה טוב. אז איך הוא עשה את הטעות? ליסן, ליסן, יש כמה דברים. משה רבנו, ויקרא את הסלע, מה? משה רבנו לא משיח, הוא משיח, כן? Human is human, you understand? So this is not a mistake which is going to invalid him to become משיח. It's not something that's going to invalid him. He's a chacham, he was rich, he was a king, what do you want to say? He has all the qualities of Mashiach. He does not say that Mashiach does not do a mistake. Do you understand? No. Angels do a mistake? No. What? Angels? No. Put rewind in the beginning. What the two angels tell Lot? אנחנו מחריבים את המקום הזה. We're going to destroy this place. Hashem says, you're going to destroy? Why didn't you say Hashem is going to destroy? 
He says, you're not coming up back to Shemaim. 138 years they stayed on. Lama? Angels can also do it. Malach HaMavet, can also do it? Yes. The Gemara in Tanit says, Hashem told Malach HaMavet, Lech tavi li it Miriam. He got a bar of Zeh. In that street was two Miriam. He made a mistake. Instead of taking the Miriam, Miriam that was the coiffeuse, she was the hairdresser, he took Miriam and got it in the She was the guardery teacher, right? Huh? No, exactly. As Mawa said, some mistake. When he brought Miriam, Hashem told her, but I didn't tell you this Miriam, I told you the other one. Okay, okay, so leave this one here, I'm going to bring the other one. He brought, he couldn't bring her back because he killed her. So he couldn't take her back. You understand? Even in angels it can be this. So it doesn't say that you did a mistake, you're invalid. You understand? So what? 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 עוד עולה אדוני כי טוב, כי לעולם חסדו לאלוהי האלוהים, כי לעולם חסדו, כלום. ברוך השם, ברוך השם. מה זה ברוך השם? וואלה, הלך... מיליון חיילים מתים שם, אז תסתכל, אתה יוסי מיליון חיילים, דד. מה ברוך השם, אתה היית עוד צריך לעשות? חג העצמאות. חג העצמאות, תראה מה עושים לך פה, עושים לך יכטות, מורסייקלס, מה? אתה יודע מה היית צריך לעשות? מה, זה חגיגה שבוע שלם. כלום, רק ברוך השם. אומר השם ברוך השם, אתה לא משיח. אתה לא מגיע לך להיות משיח. אם אתה רק עולה, אתה מנפנף את הקדוש ברוך הוא עם ברוך השם, לא מגיע לך להיות משיח. You have to thank השם, מה זה? השם makes you just a big miracle. אחד עושה לו השם כמעט, he had an accident, something, you know, two cars got into him, his car flipped, flipped like this, יוצא, אפילו לא סריטה. ברוך השם, מה ברוך השם? תבוא לבית הכנסת, תעשה סעודה תודיה. Bring all your friends, all your family, to do something great. What do you mean, Baruch Hashem? Baruch Hashem, of course, Baruch Hashem. But you have to thank Hashem. 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 What do you mean? So you want to be a Messiah? You want to be a Messiah? And you don't say thank Hashem the way it's supposed to be. Hashem says you cannot be a Messiah. You were supposed to be a Messiah, but you're not going to be. Why? If you have the war of a million people, you're a Messiah. You're a Messiah. But no, you don't want to thank Hashem. You're going to be a Messiah. בקיצור, he's saying all this to Hashem, כן? And the Gemara is asking, עכשיו הגמרא שואלת שאלה, אחת מהשאלות, כמו שאתה שואל, מה, הוא לא יודע את ההלכה ש... איך לחדש חודשים? ולט לך חזקיה, החודש הזה לכם ראש חודשים, mm-hmm. זה ניסן, ונכן עשה. הוא אומר, לא, לא, אתה יודע מה הטעות? זה לא טעות כמו שבן אדם רגיל. הוא לא טעה כמו בן אדם רגיל, זה לא טעה רגילה מסטייק. הוא טעה, he made a mistake in the הלכה, which was... Acceptable by some and not by others. For example, אלא טעה בדשמואל. הוא טעה כי הוא חשב שההלכה כמו שמואל. מה שמואל אמר? אין מעברים את השנה ביום שלושים של הדר. הואיל וראו כבוא ניסן. So, סבר, הואיל וראו לא אמרי נען. שמואל said, where does it come? מאיפה זה בא? Where does it come to? That if you are ready in the 30th day of הדר, you cannot do leap year. שמואל said that. So he said, oh, Shmuel said that, probably the other rabbis do not agree with him. If the other rabbis do not agree with him, I'll follow the other opinions. But there was no other opinion. So that was his mistake. So not that he didn't know the halacha, he knew the halacha. But he, he, his mistake was, he thought the halacha is like the other opinion, but there's no other opinion. That was his mistake. So no one said, Amar, Yitzchak and Shalom. Big David Chacham. B'shuto kol am Yisrael amat Torah. Okay? So he says, this was his mistake. So he says, that, b'shut ze, okay? B'shut ze, he cured. Amar Rabbi Yochanan, you have to go, right? Shalom. No, I'm not going to go. No, I'm going to send you a video. Go, 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 shalom. He says over here, it says over here, the Gemara says, The, the Gemara continues with the story of Chizkiah Melech. Says the Gemara, Amar Rabbi Yochanan, Mishum Rabbi Yosef ben Zimra, Kol atole b'shut atzmo, Tolim b'shut acherim. Vekol atole b'shut acherim, Tolim b'shut atzmo. Ma amarno akshav? If you want to, B'shamayim, they should listen to you, you have to bring to evoke schuyot, nakhon? Never say, Hashem, you know what I did for you? Hashem, you know what I'm tzaddik? No, no, no. Always says, b'shut acherim. 
say, Hashem, you know, I did for this yeshiva, so you know, this yeshiva is a good yeshiva. So, you know, I, I did for this, this place. I did. I, okay, no, but you don't say, you don't say, you the yeshiva, because the synagogue that I took care of, so you, you, you depend the merit on them. Tiru akshav ma kore. Tiru ma akshav kore. Why the Gemara says this? Moshe Rabbeinu. Ken, Moshe Rabbeinu. Tala b'schut acherim. Am Yisrael did egel hazav, golden calf. Hashem says, Hashem says, that's it. I'm, I'm exterminating them. Ani mechale otam. Ken? Ma omer Moshe? No. Zechor le'avraam le'itzchak u'l'israel avadecha. הוא אומר השם, תעשה למען אברהם, יצחק, למה לא לעשה למען משה רבנו? למה לא למען משה רבנו? Why not in the merit of משה רבנו? Because he does not want to speak about himself. He says, השם, if you've saved them, it's בזכות אברהם, יצחק ויעקב. לא בזכותי. I have no merit. מה אתה יודע מה זה משה רבנו? משה רבנו, איזה זכות היה לו, הלך לקבל, he went to receive the Torah, 40 days and 40 nights. No, 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 no. I have no merit. אני קטן, I'm small. I have no merit. אז ככה צריך לעשות. כן. אבל לא כמו שאמרת להגיד, אני עזרתי לישיבה, הנה הישיבה וזה. אז לא צריך להגיד ככה. אז מה תגיד, בזכות הישיבה הזאת? מה, מה שייך לישיבה הזאת לך? יש הרבה ישיבות בעולם. משה רבנו היה לא הרבה ישיבות. תזכיר שאתה, שאתה, ותגיד בזכות כל התלמידים, ובזכות כל הרבנים, ובזכות כל המורים. אבל משה רבנו אמר את זה. אני הוצאתי אותם ממצרים. כן? תראה בזכותך, זה... ואיך הוא יקנה, איך היא קונקטת איתה אברהם, יצחק ויעקב? אולי, אז זה... You have to connect. אולי לא צריך לעשות קונקשן עליך, לדבר רק על האבות שלך. אז תדבר על איזה ישיבה את בנית? אה? בנית איזה ישיבה? עוד לא. עוד לא, בנית תלמידים, בנית תלמיד חכם, ברוך השם, בן שלך תלמיד חכם. אז תגיד בזכות הבן שלך. כן? אם אתה חושב... To pray to Hashem, with your merit. I did, I did. Hashem says, you know what? Nachon, that's a dik. But you know what? I'm going to answer your prayer not by your help, by your help of someone else. Here, Moshe Rabbeinu. What does Moshe Rabbeinu say? No, no, I have no merit. Please, Hashem, save them. Don't exterminate. By your help, Abraham. Look at what Hashem says to him. What does Hashem answer him? What does Hashem answer him? To live not by your help, that's what Hashem says to him. ויאמר להשמידם, לולא משה בכרוע פרס לפניו להשחית, חמתו מהשחית, כן? מה, מה שאמר לו, מה אמר לו בסוף? סלחתי כדבריך. I forgive you thanks to you. גם אברהם היה אותו. הוא אמר בזכות אברהם, יצחק ויעקב, בזכות אחרים. תלו לו, they said, no, 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 you know who is the merit gonna be? you. אז אתה רואה? כשאתה אומר בזכות זה, בזכות זה, בזכות, ההוא, 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 they said, no, it's your merit. But if you say to Hashem, I did, and I, and I, and I, ראה חזקיה המלך, תראה מה אמר חזקיה המלך. חזקיה המלך said, he said to Hashem, חזקיה תלה בזכות עצמו. When he prayed to Hashem, he prayed with his marriage, שנאמר, כן, דכתיב, זכור נא את אשר התהלכתי לפניך. Please Hashem, I was a צדיק, always I walked in, in your ways, always I did Torah. בזכותי, בזכותי, my marriage, אה. תלה לו, השם עושה את תוהים, ואינו וואט, וגנותי על העיר הזאת, I'm going to save this city להושיע, למעני, in my merit, השם says, ולמען דוד עבדי, and the zכות of your great, great founder, דוד המלך, לא בזכותך. אתה יודע מה זה הזכויות של חזקיה? חזקיה forced everybody to study Torah. בגיל ארבע, אנשים בגיל שלוש, בגיל ארבע, ידעו את כל התורה. Three or four years old, they knew the whole Torah, כן? אז הוא אומר, השם, I was righteous, I was good, השם, כן, 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 כן. אבל אתה, you saying, you, I, 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 כן? I? No. The I is going to למעני, השם אומר, I'll do it for me, and I'll do it למען דוד, his great grandfather, כן? אף פעם אל תגיד אני ואני ואני, מי, מי, מי. Say always, אבא שלי היה צדיק, סבא שלי. If you take anybody, there's no somebody that Saba Shalom or his great great father is there, I asked him. It's good to do this. What's good? To say, I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. Then you're going to be able to do this. It's not so good. Why? Because you're going to be able to do this. You're going to be able to do this. At the end of the day, you're going to be answered. At the end of the day, you're going to be answered. But the, 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 the thing that you're going to say, oh, 
תראה, השם doesn't answer me. אבל הוא ענה לו. כן. בזכות סבא שלו. כן, אבל do you know what the thing is? The thing is, השם תאו לו, לא בזכותך, לא with your merit. Somebody else. Yeah, אבל it's not the same thing. You want to have some merit. You want השם to answer you. לא, זה רק תפילה, זה לא מבקש, לא מבקש ניסים פה. בפעם הראשונה זה היה גם עם אברהם, בסדום, שהוא אומר לו, אולי יש שם צדיקים, הוא לא אומר תציל אותם בגללי, הוא אומר, אולי יש שם אנשים ש... חזק. הלאה, נמשיך. צדיק... של אברהם אבינו? כן. איך הגעת לאברהם אבינו? אומרים שהיה גלגול של נוח. מתי שאחז בכיסא הגבוה. כן. אז הוא אמר, תענה להם. אה, לא. אמר להם, אכלתם אצלו... לא, כתוב שם במדרש, הפנים שלו, הוא צייר כמו, אבל לא שהיה גלגול. משה רבנו היה גלגול של נוח. נשמה של אברהם. כמו נוח נכנס בתיבה במים, משה רבנו איזה בייבי, די פולי מן התיבה במים. זה היה גלגול של נוח. הנשמה שלו זה היה גלגול של נוח. אומרת הגמרא, עשה את זה גמרא. So, ואיינו דה רבי יהושע בן לוי, that's what רבי יהושע בן לוי said, דאמר רבי יהושע בן לוי, מאי דכתיב, הנה לה שלום, מר לי מר, אפילו בשעה ששיגר לו הקדוש ברוך הוא שלום, מר הוא לא. Like he said, at the end of the day he answered this prayer, at the end of the day he ענה לו, כן ענה לו, אבל היה מר, it was bitter for him, למה? השם טוב למתי? Not you, not you. למעני ולמען דוד, but not you. At the end of the day he was answered, but he says, not, not with your merits. So it's a little bit bitter for him. Why, what? Means, means whatever I did in my life is not worth nothing. Okay? Hashem says, yeah, but you prayed in your merit. You should have done like Moshe Rabbeinu. Moshe Rabbeinu prayed in the merit of Ram, Yitzchak, Yaakov, and I said, no, it's not with you. Okay? That's what the Gemara is trying to teach us. Let's go. Amen and Amen.